guess it's Make Your Mind Up time, and here's our Graham with a quick reminder. Thank you, Connie. Will it be contestant number one who... Ah, uh, no, that's Blind Date. I'm on the wrong show. Uh, shh. This is the part of the show where members of the public get the chance to ask presenter Supreme Dermot O'Leary any question they please. Yes, it's delving into Dermot! Dermot, we love the X Factor, but what never ceases to amaze you about the show? Um, what never ceases to amaze me about the show is... i tell you what amazes me about the show is how on people's first audition they come out and they smash it and they're brilliant. And then they come back for a second audition at boot camp and they fall apart because the mm. nerves gets to them. Also, people come off with their microphones and go, I couldn't... I, I couldn't hear anything. And you're like, what? I'm gonna make it right. Why did it go badly? Sound to fill on the mic, sir. Yeah. So. The only people that say it are the people that didn't do well. Hi, dear mate. It's Rob from Stoke on Trent. Remember me? I borrowed you 20 quid for an ice cream. When am I getting it back? You liar. You absolute liar. Totally busted. <laughs> um, I gave Max Beasley 100 quid for a jacket and I never saw the money or the jacket again. And then I bumped into him and, and I went, Oh, oh, do you remember? And I, I was actually a little bit put out. I just thought, I wouldn't actually mind. It was a really nice jacket. He went, no, pal, I'll get you one of these. Yeah, I've for school. It's a fantastic jacket. And I never got the jacket. And then I saw him again That's five annoying. years later. And he, and he was so apologetic. But I still didn't get the 100 quid off him or the jacket. Unlucky Dermot. More delving next week.